community comes together to remember one of their best and brightest after Marin Sanchez was tragically stabbed to death before the start of classes on Friday. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Koontz. There is no school at Jonathan Law High School in Milford today, although counselors are there for any student or parent who is looking for somebody to talk to. The young suspect in the death of Marin Sanchez is now charged with murder. News 8's Ken Pierce is live in New Haven where we could learn at some point today if his case we move to adult court. Ken? Yeah, and Keith, right now, anything that happens with the 16-year-old stabbing suspect, Chris Plaskin, it would happen in juvenile court. This is New Haven's juvenile courthouse here, but he could be moved over to adult court at any time if those charges get changed. Now, the thing about juvenile court is that they're not allowed to talk to the press. Everything that happens in there is private, not available to the public. The attorney for the stabbing suspect, he tells me that there was a detention hearing scheduled for today in juvenile court, but that the attorney said they have waived that hearing. In other words, the Plaskin family is not going to be fighting the state's right to hold on to Chris. The lawyer says he's undergoing psychological evaluation right now. Now let's back up and tell you how all this began. If you haven't heard, it started Friday morning, just as classes were beginning at Jonathan Law High School in Milford. And witnesses say it was 16-year-old Chris Plaskin who stabbed another 16-year-old student to death, Marin Sanchez. They say they were friends. And they say that perhaps Chris was jealous because Marin was going to the prom with somebody else. That prom was scheduled for Friday night because of the death Friday morning. That did not happen. Instead, some kids put on their gowns and tuxedos and went to the beach and held a vigil for Marin Sanchez. Now, people describe Marin as a great student. She was an Honor Society member active in the drama club and people say that Chris Plaxon was a good kid too. In fact, one of his teachers and coaches was on Good, Mo good Morning America this morning saying that nobody could have seen this kind of violence coming. I've known his family for over 10 years. Was there ever ev any evidence that this could possibly happen from this, from this individual? Absolutely not. There have been other reports that say perhaps Plaskin did have some trouble. People saying he was battling depression or some kind of mental illness, maybe even cut himself. Those are according to other reports. Now we're going to find out a lot more about Chris Plaskin if indeed his case gets moved out of the juvenile system into the adult court system because then any affidavits, anything that was uh, d dug up in the course of investigating what happened, that then starts to become public. For right now, we don't know those details, but we do know that his case could be handed over to adult court sometime in the next day or two. We will, of course, keep you updated on that. For now, live in front of Juvenile Court in New Haven, I'm Kent Pierce. Keith, back to you. Kent, thank you. As we have said, classes have been canceled, but sporting events will go on as scheduled today. A vigil will be held on the football field at 7 o'clock this evening. If you are planning to attend, you are being asked to bring a candle. Details on Marin Sanchez's funeral arrangements are being handled by the Cody White Funeral Home. The details are expected to be posted at some point today. If you would like to donate directly to the family, there are several ways you can do it. Online, you can go to Facebook and like the page Marin Sanchez in our hearts. You can also visit GoFundMe.com to make a donation. You can also donate through the mail. The address is the Marin Sanchez Memorial Fund. Care of Attorney Mike McCabe at 23 Sunnyside Court in Milford, 06460. Marin Sanchez was an active member of her school's drama club. To honor her, this year's production of Little Shop of Horrors will go on as scheduled. That is according to the Milford Patch. And to remember Marin, the school has recreated the poster for that show. The play is set for this coming weekend, Friday, May 2nd at 7 o'clock in the evening. And two shows on Saturday, May the 3rd at 2 p.m and 7 p.m. as well.